Hey, it's Ashley from Westcott, and today I'm going to be breaking down how and when to use grids to help you create more impactful and intentional images. Grids can actually come in many forms and material, and they work by redirecting the spread of light. If you look through the front of the grid, you will notice you can see through all the holes in the front. But when you start to angle the grid, you'll notice those holes start to close up. This is how the grids are focusing the light spread. One of the main reasons you'll want to use a grid is to help isolate your subject from the background. For example, during this year I was able to change the exposure of my background simply by adding a grid to my main light. This not only changed my background, but helps keep the same quality of light on my subject. Another reason why you might want to use a grid is because it helps focus your light to a certain area. By simply adding a grid to your light, you can change the beam angle. The smaller the degree of the grid, the smaller the light spread. For example, a 10 degree grid is going to be a much smaller beam angle than a 40 degree. In this photo, I added a grid to my background light. This helped me keep the spread to a small source instead of filling up the whole background. This helps create a natural vignette in the photos and draws your eyes towards the subject instead of on the background. Lastly, another great use of grids is to help eliminate unwanted flare from hitting your lens. A lot of times when placing a light behind your subject, you risk getting lens flare. To help eliminate this, you can add grids to your lights. In fact, even in this video setup, we're using a 1x2 grid right behind me as a hair light to help reduce any glare hitting the lens. During the shoot, I used two 1x3 rapid box soft boxes. Since I was placing my lights behind my subject, I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting unwanted glare, so I simply just added two grids to my soft boxes. So these are just some of my favorite ways to use grids. In the comments below, let me know how you incorporate them in your workflow. And as always, thanks for watching.